Hi, this is BC Charles Leeskum. I'm an Associate Professor of Athletic Training at Greensboro College. Today I'll be demonstrating how to use a variety of ace wraps for uh, splinting the wrist and hand. Today we'll be using a SAM splint. This could be a rigid splint. Right? You could use a board splint or you could use magazines or any other materials in the event of an emergency. But today we're going to be using a SAM splint which is moldable and molds to the body. We'll also be using a three inch elastic wrap. In this instance, we'll be trying to splint injuries to the hand, the wrist, or the forearm. Whenever you have a suspected fracture, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you check for circulation. You can check with capillary refill. You can also check for a pulse. Our patient here is, let's say that he's fractured his forearm. So we're going to want to stabilize that injury mold our splinting material as necessary and then we're going to apply our elastic wrap from distal to proximal. Can you open your hand? So I'm going to anchor it down on the hand providing a little bit of compression and then I'm securing my splint lightly over the area of fracture, but then securing it proximally. And then if I have excess, I'm just going to lay it down smoothly and then use clips or tape to secure it in place. Once I've done that, I want to make sure that the patient is in a comfortable position. I'm going to recheck circulation. Can you feel that? Can you wiggle your fingers for me? And then I might place the patient in a sling so that I could transport. So to review, you want to use a rigid splinting device. It could be a SAM splint. It could be a rigid board splint. It could be a magazine. You're always going to check for circulation ahead of time. You're going to support the extremity. And then you'll apply your elastic wrap from distal to proximal, overlapping and gently applying compression, if at all, over the area of fraction. 